this is Flash of the Daily Drive. Um, what's the difference between a contractor and a handyman? Um, well, the biggest difference is uh, the contractor, a state contractor goes through a licensing process with the state. Um, usually it's a uh, state contractor's board. Um, and uh, so they go through a screening and they are regulated. Uh, versus the handyman, uh, which um, aside from certain limitations that the state has, has put on them, most states do not have any kind of a licensing process for the handyman to go through, so the handyman is virtually unregulated. Um, so that's, that's the biggest difference between a, ha a handyman and a contractor. Um, there are differences also depending on where you're performing your business. Um, some states uh, allow the um, you know contractor to do uh, more work than what they allow the handyman to do um, the, handy, the handyman has limitations on uh, not only type of jobs but uh, dollar amounts um, where other states um, say that the handyman can do any type of job but they do have dollar amount limitations on them um, now um, the negative or the, the downside of, of being a contractor versus a handyman is um, a general contractor, for example, that um, uh, uh, someone may be able to do like a job with a broad range of, of um, types of trades or types of jobs. Um, they are subject to minimums. So, for example, a general contractor in the state of California has to perform a minimum of two trades, two unrelated trades per job. Um, so they have to do, for example, you know, concrete and electrical, two completely unrelated jo um, trades per job, or else they require a um, a specialty license, which would be like a an isolated electrical license or concrete, or you know. So um, uh, so uh, you know that legally kind of prohibits a contractor from doing some handyman jobs um, so a general contractor going out and performing um, you know fixing a door or fixing a drawer or you know something or doing one one trade type um, would not be working within their license um, and uh, would also jeopardize their insurance if there was a claim filed and they looked into um, what type of work they were doing where the handyman, although they are, you know, subject to certain limitations with dollar amounts and and some trades, the handyman is not uh, limited to doing one type of job or multiple types of jobs. So, usually on your, um, you know, your fix it repair type of things, um, it's best to have a handyman. Best to use it, you know, hire a handyman to do those things because a handyman that is. Um, that carries a business license and insurance in in some situations uh, is safer than using a contractor. Um, you know, I'm gonna tell you to make sure your handyman is certified because then you know that they've gone through the process of a background and, and they've gone through some sort of a, you know, a regulation process um, through the UHA that, you know, like a, a contractor would go through and, you know with the state um, so I'm always going to enforce you know using a UHA certified uh, business but um, you know but you know any handyman that has insurance and um, you know and, and has a business license um, is legally able to perform um, your repair type jobs um, and working within their you know handyman status um, so uh, you know check your local um, requirements and and you know what you're um, allowed to do and who you're allowed to hire and things like that to verify this information but um, for the most part it's pretty much standard and correct throughout um, you know throughout the areas um, contractors um, back you know back to contractors working without um, outside of their license so when a uh, when a contractor when an individual goes and and becomes a contractor they um, they are no longer allowed to work out work outside their license they cannot pick and choose when to use their contractors license so they are a contractor 
every day. They're not a handyman. I, I see some, you know, some contractors that um, they advertise as a handyman, but they are they are actually a, a licensed contractor. So um, we have a company out here that is a uh, licensed air conditioning contractor, and then they put trucks all over the place uh, for handyman work. Now that company is only insured as a um, you know as an as an AC you know an, uh, an AC you know contractor, um, and um, they're not really uh, working legally as a handyman. So. Um, again, you can't pick and choose when to use your license. Once you're a contractor, you're a contractor. So, um, you know, in some cases, depending on what the um, clientele, you know, what your clientele is and, and what, your, um, what your goals are for your business, sometimes uh, choosing to remain a handyman or be a handyman is the way to go. Um, you know, and, and if you want to do... Uh, you know, bigger building and more, you know, uh, more extensive work than maybe, you know, becoming a contractor is your way to go. But the important thing for the homeowner is to know the difference and to hire who is going to be suitable and who is going to um, be the best for your job. Um, so that's, um, that's what, uh, that's the only thing that, you know, that I think, um, to make sure you know when you're hiring and when you're looking for someone to do your job um, you want know, to make sure that you're covered and they're covered and and their insurance is going to um, uh, to be there if you ever need it um, most contractors will not tell you that uh, you know that they're not allowed to do that one job um, and um, you know there's a there's a national handyman company out there that they are when you look into them they are uh, they're a franchise and they have uh, you know they have franchises all over the place and they are actually a general contractor and not a handyman but a handyman is in their name so I doubt they are disclosing to their customers that, uh, that they are a handyman I mean that they are not a handyman and that they uh, you know they can't go out there and do your small repair uh, type thing uh, unless it's to unrelated trades. So anyway, um, those are those are the main differences between the contractor and the handyman. So uh, this was Flash of the Daily Drive. Happy home repairs. Bye.